What is optimized battery charging that is new to the iOS 13 features? Now, you may notice if you go into settings and then tap on battery, and then if you go into battery health, in here there is an option where you can switch optimize battery charging on or off. Now, it said here with optimized battery charging, the aim is to reduce the battery aging iPhone learns from your daily charging routine so it can wait to finish charging past the 80% until you need to use it so what does this mean is that it will try to prolong the maximum capacity of your battery have you ever noticed uh, on older iPhone like iPhone 6 or iPhone 5 um, the battery uh, capacity tends to reduce quicker and after two years, you may notice the maximum capacity is only 60% and your battery will only last for a couple of hours. And either you need to throw away your phone or replace a new battery. Now, because um, the phone keeps uh, always charging the phone, the charging the battery to a full 100%, and Apple think that will cause an issues and will um, cause your battery to age quicker. Now, inside your phone, there is an, intellig an artificial intelligence software. It will learn your usage habits. So let's say during the day, um, when you are using your phone, and when you try to charge it, it may um, charge up until up into 80%. And once it reaches 80%, it will stop you from charging. And then at night time when you go to sleep, it will allow you to charge up to 100%. So this will depend on your usage habits. So it will learn. So it, it, let's say if every night you're going to charge your phone up to 100%, they know that's when you normally uh, don't use your phone and that's normally when you charge up your phone. So during the night, it will let you charge up to uh, 100%. So during the day, if you really need to charge your phone up to 100%, you can uh, switch it off. You can switch off optimized battery charging and uh, you know, so when you want to uh, use the optimized battery charging again, you can switch it on. So why is Apple doing this? Now, if you look at the battery, inside these batteries, there are chemical structures. And as you um, charge the battery over time, when you charge and discharge, charge and discharge, the chemicals will break down over time. And because when you charge up to 100%, it will cause the battery to um, age quicker and um, it will make the chemical breakdowns even faster. So the purpose of this is to uh, only allow you to charge up to say 80% and that will help slow down the aging process of your battery. Now this over time it will allow you to hold the same amount of charge uh, as when you just uh, bought the, the phone. So let's say if you just bought a phone yesterday, you'll be able to hold charge up to 100%. So hopefully this process, uh, one year down the track, will still allow you to hold uh, the charge up to you know 95%. So it will slow down. Uh, instead of one or two years later, you may find that your charge will hold up only up to 60%. And that means your battery is going to run out a lot uh, quicker. Okay, so I hope you know what optimized battery charging is uh, useful. So while we are on the topic of uh, battery, it is um, a, if you want to you have, you have to have your battery last a lot longer, it is a good idea to have your battery used in between the twenty percent and eighty percent. So if your battery drop down close to twenty percent, you should uh, try to charge up your battery, and once it reach close to eighty percent then you should uh, stop charging. So try to charge your phone in between that range. Then that means your battery life can uh, last a lot longer. Now, another thing that you can do to improve your battery health is to make sure that you don't change uh, your phone uh, temperature condition from extreme heat to extreme cold and then back from extreme cold to extreme heat. So try to neutralize the temperature as much as you can. That can definitely uh, prolong the battery health as well. Also, uh, avoid uh, excessive heat. Uh, say when you are traveling in a car, if you are using your phone GPS on a very 
a hot day, you may notice the phone gets really hot. Or if you charge your car, uh, your mobile phone in the car and using it at the same time, you may notice your phone gets really hot. That can definitely also cause damage uh, to your battery health. Okay, and that's it. So I hope you uh, uh, learned something from today. Uh, please subscribe to my channel for more videos.